welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video now i get quite a lot of questions on how i use my dyson air wrap to curl hair so i thought i'd film this quick little tutorial for you now obviously these are a ridiculous amount of money i got mine for christmas last year um do i think it's worth it on my hair yes my hair's never felt better um it's nice like to be able to get different styles without putting in an excessive amount of heat which is why i like it um when you buy this particular kit here is what you get um so you've got like obviously the main attachment bit and then all these other attachments that you plunk on the top so you get your normal dryer you've got your round brush so for getting your volume which is what i showed in my other video i'll link that down below um your two sort of straightening tall ones I'm not too sure what the difference between the two is but you get two of those and then you get two different sized um curling attachments so that's what you get in the kit so i'm going to show you how i use it to curl my hair so i'm just going to put my products in um just like my normal like heat defense and a bit of oil and then i'll get to show you how we curl the hair okay so the first step that i always do is i go in and just give my roots a bit of volume so i use my volume spray and then the like round brush if you've got quite thick hair you probably wouldn't need to do this step but i just need that extra bit of body in my hair because it's quite sort of thin and fine and um, so i just blast it around concentrating just on the roots though not on the ends because you want to keep those a little bit damp to do the curling process so i'm going to quickly whip round and do that Okay, so that's my hair all dried at the roots and then the ends are just kind of dampish, which is exactly what you want. So I've just sectioned it off again and then we're ready to go in and start curling. So you get two attachments. This is the bigger one. I prefer to use the bigger size. Um, and then they've got arrows on them, if you can see. So basically I just look in the mirror and see which way the arrow's pointing. So whichever way the arrow's pointing is the way the hair's going to curl. So for this side, like you want it curling away. So that'll be this one so if you can see the curling away from the face and then this one will be this side um there's two kind of different ways to curl really so i'll show you both you can kind of do one more like beachy wave or one of like the classic how it's intended to be used but sometimes i like more of the beachy wave sometimes i like the other curl so the first way you can do it is if you section your hair off like so you don't want huge sections um obviously it depends how thick your hair is to, as to you know how big your section is going to be but the first way that you can do it now is this going to be the wrong way now i've tipped it yes it is hang on the first way is to use the opposite one that you should do for the curl um hold it upside down so if you can see that's going to be going away and then wrap it around almost like you would do with a curling wand and then blast it very important once you've finished blasting it for like 10 seconds is that you flip this onto the cool setting so you flip it on to warm and then hold it and push it up onto the cool setting so that sets the curl then so i'll show you on this one so this is going to be more of a beachy wave then turn it off and then it gives you a curl more like a beach wave so the other way to do it which is like one-handed curling really which is kind of the way this was intended to be used is to let me just swap these back over again so this is the proper way um is to grab another section of hair like so and then you basically hold it out and it will grab it itself like that flip it to cool and then stop and then you'll get a curl like that now it looks really scary and really crazy but once it's all brushed out it leaves like just a real kind of like a blowout kind of effect of curl so we'll get another piece of hair and show you so hold it out like that couple of inches at the end turn it on and it'll wrap itself so it's one-handed curling flip it up cool and off 
so you get that like it looks so crazy when you're doing it but it does work <laughs> so i'm just going to continue doing that all the way around okay so once you get to the front i like to take the front section um and do it in the same way but sort of drag it out a little bit so you get this kind of nice bit that frames your face if that makes sense so get your thing do it the normal way but then start to pull it back a bit cool shot and then let it fall down like that and it just sort of brings the curl away from your face like so so kind of looking like a bit of a charlie's angel here <laughs> Ooh. um but now we just want to sort of play with it a little bit so running your hands through it just to loosen the kind of poodle perm a little bit <laughs> okay guys and here is the finished result as you can see it's not that like scary curl that you get at the beginning it really is like a salon blowout and there's like loads of volume and it feels really soft which is just perfect for me you could wallop a little bit of hairspray on now but i don't find that i need it and um, it holds really nicely and it just drops so nicely as well if i normally use a straightener to curl mine it drops kind of funny but with this it just sort of drops really gently um throughout the like next couple of days um so i absolutely love it now i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and if you're not following me already over on instagram then head over there it's at katie walker for now guys bye